Hello, Erica. Hi, Cordelia. We seem to be at the graveyard. Yeah, we're gonna visit Cordelia again for some reason. Cordelia. Cordelia is the one who caught us stealing this a flower. This is hard for me to she? say. Yes. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. Try me. I remembered something Sound from like the night that my brother died. I knew I had that seen you before, but I, I couldn't place it. That actually was something I felt from this entire Three conversation. Three years ago, you were here the night he was murdered in this cemetery. I know. That's why I tried to find you at the FBI office. I remembered seeing you here that night, too. When I realized who you were, it was horrible. I'm so sorry. I don't recognize yeah. people I saw three I weeks ago. I hope it wasn't ago, a problem like coming by the office. Ago. Yeah, I didn't know it how seems to pretty you. unlikely. It's fine. It's just been a busy few days. I can give you my cell phone number if you ever need to contact me again. Thank you. In this world, when you phone someone, it doesn't automatically give them your what number. What were you doing here? I was visiting Max's Maybe she's grave. got a private number. And how did you get close to the she crime scene? She is technically scene? a detective. I was sitting here, and I heard a gunshot. I didn't know what it was, so I called 911. Minutes later, I saw the commotion. You'd have to be. The police cars. Gunshots are loud. And I got closer. But the sound does dissipate, and it would just sound like a tweak at a certain but distance, I, did, I would have thought. I well, saw you. that was us shooting the lock it off the gate, you. I assume, so. <laughs> what was she doing at this time of night? You in didn't a need cemetery? to come to the office to tell me you remembered me. Why were you really there? I wasn't sure I wanted to say it. I feel kind of dumb. It's just... Actually, that's a good point. How was she inside the apartment. cemetery when we had to shoot the lock off the gate to get in? Maybe there's around. another gate. I don't like we're how just he not looks very good at me. Getting After into I realized who you were, <laughs> that I remembered would fit. something. That night you were here, I think I saw him here too. What? Cordelia. This woman is what really good at recognizing people she saw he briefly years ago. Yeah. There are scars I, I get the feeling she doesn't have much face, going on in her life. Because I swear I remember she those spends eyes. all her time at the cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> well, it that. might be him, but more importantly, I'm afraid. If that man is really... I, I can't check it out myself right now. But I can get a car over there at least. Someone to keep an eye on things until I can just get there car. myself. Just a car? Shouldn't you have some people you in the You do car? that? Well, thank you so <laughs> much, Eric. car will just frighten anyone off. I live at the off. Towers by the Charles People River. are like you crows did the right or magpies. Thing. I'll get over there myself soon, car. I promise. And that would scare someone, because the car just driving around randomly would be quite You said you took over the business from <laughs> I'll just send a Google what car do do? over there. He owned and managed some properties in the city, so now it's what I do. I'm not nearly as visionary as Max was, though. How do you have to be mm, visionary like to do word. that? Not yeah, quite what is a visionary being property FBI manager? Agent. <laughs> Interesting, yes. Good for your blood pressure or psyche, that's up for debate. That sounds like you've had a bad day. You could say that. I think she has do you want to talk about it? I see you had a bit of trouble there, Clicky. <laughs> Hoping uh, for another friend option of mine there, was taken by someone well, this morning. I was just kind of. I don't know where he is. All, all the options in the list disappeared, and, I, and we just had I one. I have to find him. Which, like, That's why awful. even give that option? But you sound determined. Yeah. I'm sure you'll find him. Just finding him isn't good enough. I found Scott. I found Davies, and I was too late to save either of them. So I know what it's like to lose someone close to you, stranger. Erica. You care about this friend of yours a lot, don't you? <laughs> I do. It sounds like you don't want your friend to die. But there are things I haven't told him about myself. I wish things were... Simple? Exactly. Something normal. Something that isn't See, now messed it's up. like she wants to have something going on with something. But I'm starting to think there is no... Yeah, well, she does, I think. ...in my life. But, like, she can't because she's psychic like or something? You like me sometimes. You mean psychotic, right? <laughs> what was your brother like? Max... He was the real star in the family. Oh my god, why do we really care about Max? Everyone loved him, and he was always kind to me. Because we lost our parents story. when I was still young, but he always looked out for me and made me part of the business. I wasn't really qualified at the time, but I tried to be for him. How do you try it to be qualified? Sounds like you were really close. We were. I miss him so I much. I don't even know. It's now. like they're trying to have real human emotions. I know he's gone, but. There's still this Maybe that's it. Maybe these are actually robots. Well, same with me and, and Scotty. It's, you know, some sort of I hear a joke I know he'd love sort of or thing. see a movie that that's right up his alley. And... 
And sometimes I forget for a minute that I can't tell him about it. Those are some of the best minutes, though. What? Why? I talked to Rose. You were right. I think She's both of these help. women need She's a good some woman. Like, therapy I'm glad it to get out. over the what kind loss of, of their brothers. What kind of pain did she help you with? Oh, yeah, it was... I'm pretty sure there is... There she is helped me deal with deal Max's with death. Sort of We'd just moved into a new place before it happened, and I... I wasn't dealing very well with it. I felt like I had no one else to turn to, no one else who understood what I was going instead through. Instead of going to, like, oh. a psychiatrist, they're going to an antique shop well, owner. Yeah. <laughs> glad she could help you. Because those things are... So I was lucky I had people like John and well, my yeah, dad after I, Scotty I guess died. I, weird I can't imagine going through it alone. Uh, weird things in general. I need to get back to my case. I'll let you know when I've got a card. She's got tower. a crystal ball, I'm Thank sure that helps. Thank you so much, Erica. If there's anything I can do, feels nice even if you just need to problem. talk again, you've got my number. I might take you up on that. I like not feeling quite so... weird. Well, first thing you should stop doing is pausing weirdly in the middle of sentences, because... <laughs> Learn to talk like a human. <laughs> Alright, where are we going to? Oh, again. Does it look like he's out of sad day? McAdams? Agent Reed? Yeah, it's a nice suit, that one. I need a BPD Fence. car sent <laughs> over to the Anthon Towers. Why? But it's also a friend a of mine. Too... She thinks someone may be stalking her. Then she, she should call the police okay. yeah. and file the complaint with them. Focus on your case. I shouldn't need to stress that Agent Sullivan's life depends on it. About that interagency request. The answer is still no, Agent. Stop wasting time and get back to work. He's got a Damn it! If yeah, I tell I know, him what it's really he's for, he's he'll right, never sign anything. He's right, but he's being an asshole about it anyway. Like, what would it cost any of them to, to just, like, See call the do. BPD and say, can you send a car around to this place? Yeah. Well, couldn't she just do it anyway? You well, would think so, but no. Yeah. Apparently she's not authorized to use a telephone. I had the brilliant thought here. You know that phone that's only used for interagency stuff? Oh, yeah. I could use that to call the BPD! Oh, but... Yeah. I don't have any business with other government agencies right now. <laughs> but, yes you do! Could you go and use someone else's phone? <laughs> I could probably try, but I didn't waste my time on that. <laughs> Did notice this stack of papers, though. Hmm. I wonder what that stack of paper is for. Ah, so it's something that'll become important in the future. No, I just have to talk to Gwen instead of just looking at the paper. Ah, that's sort of reasonable. That's quite a wide hey, bench Gwen, now you look at it. Hey, Gwen, any news? Not really. Yeah. Sorry. Just like how all the rooms are just massive. I need an interagency request form. Here you go. It looks like you're buried in paperwork. I'm so busy, I haven't been able to get these forms to McAdams to get them signed. He's gonna be so mad at me. Thanks, Gwen. Is it McAdams, like, just around <laughs> the corner? Let me bring the yep. stack in for you, at least. Would you? Oh, thank you, Erica. Convenient plot you device are a is savior. convenient. No problem, Gwen. I like, I like how they don't even show her, like, Thanks, using Gwen. the computer or Anytime. anything. She's literally just standing there. Uh, I have seen receptionists that it's A so. blank interagency form. I'll need McAdams to sign it to get a police car over to the Anthon Towers. Why? Who knows? I'll just add this one on top. But yeah, <laughs> puzzle solved. <laughs> this, this boss doesn't at all <laughs> look at anything he signs. Nope, just give him some papers, he'll sign them. Erica could just get him to sign over his power of attorney or something. <laughs> yeah, it does seem to be that way. I, I, I have had a manager. Here, who, these are from Gwen for you to I sign. No idea and what why are you working, bringing so me I these? Goes, because oh, Tess leaving. quit. The evidence room was robbed, <laughs> and she's going grey trying to keep everything together out there on her own. She has her job, you have yours. But fine, give her this one, she can get the rest later. I like that, just... Signs the exact one you need, and yeah. that's it. 
And then puts them all in his jacket, was that? Yes, that giant stack of papers is somehow in his very tight jacket. Here are some of those forms, Gwen. Oh, yeah. I think he said forms. to bother him frequently about getting the rest of them done. Oh, I'm sure he did. Thanks, hon. And could you fax this to Officer Jonathan Duffer sure at the BPD at... for me? All Sorry, right. Okay, Thanks, Gwen. Or what? It's... Yeah, I think it was a bad actor trying to be sarcastic. <laughs> Hello, Erica. Erica Hi, Cortini. It's all sorted out. There'll be a police car outside the building <laughs> soon. I'll get there when I can, Pretending but in the meantime, if again. you see that guy, let Thank them know, emotions. okay? Thank you so much, Erica. I feel safer already knowing you're looking out for me. That's not I'm glad true. I could help. I'll call you <laughs> no, later. No one feels safer with Erica on the day. <laughs> Yeah, so far the Melissa. two people she's, she's tried to name. save, both she's are dead. She's back at her apartment. Oh, this bit. We're about to meet the most annoying character in the entire game. Really? That's quite a statement. I mean, I'm hoping it's the most annoying character, because if they get worse than this, then <laughs> don't want Hello? to know about Ms. it. Miss Carubia? Who is it? Special Agent what, Erica Reed, FBI. Yes, of course. The Dean's office called about you. Namaste, Miss Reed. It's Agent Reed, actually. Of course! My apologies. Please, have a seat. What, on the floor? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and while she goes and sits hey, on the couch. this bureau is actually pretty nice. Under all that clutter. But first, that happen? we're just going to make fun of uh, everything in this room. Man, this place is cluttered. These things are all packed with books, trinkets, jewelry boxes, papers, I mean, folders. Who knows? It's a little what else. untidy, but it's not really cluttered. Yeah, I, I, I would Artistic say it's endeavor that bad. or just decoration? I noticed she hasn't reset a clock, which, which is also facing. Jaunty forwards, Abyss but... features DJ Abhorrence. That was the DJ name used by Nick Stewart, one of the other victims. In case you forgot, well, I had. These are all for local bands and clubs. Yes, the exit. Use the exit! How long has that thing been blinking 12 o'clock? How can you even see it from that angle? <laughs> yeah. All I can see is that bright purple chair. Where do you even find one like that? So, Eric is very jealous of it? <laughs> For a drum circle, no doubt. It's very judgmental in general. Yeah. That's a weird way to arrange dresser drawers. What? Why? What's weird about it? I'm not here for a panty raid. <laughs> Does this mean that we go on a panty raid later? <laughs> the second hand coffee table. It does sound a like she standby. wants to investigate that. Mine was never those covered drawers, in tarot but I don't cards, know though. Why? <laughs> oh, they're tarot cards. They look like my Those look phones. well used. She must be pretty into the spiritual occult stuff. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if she knew Rose, actually. Yeah, because there's only like a very All small organic number of apples, psychics no doubt. and people into that sort of stuff in this town. No. Ugh, she couldn't be bothered to throw it out when she was done. It's just sitting on the table. What's your problem? That's a weird way to arrange dresser drawers. It's like when you've moved out of home and your parents come to visit for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is the hippiest hipster I've ever seen. I don't think Erica knows what a hipster is. Well, there, there some, does seem to be a thing where hipsters are also included in with the hippies. Can I ask you a few uh, questions? Of course! I don't know if, that's, if they are or not, but, you know. Can you tell me about yourself, Miss Carubia? Melissa's just fine. I'm a senior at Berkeley. Studying composition and music therapy. Music therapy? They teach that here? Oh, yes! It's a wonderful program. Music can be a powerful healer and helper for all kinds of people. If you say so. 
She's not a very good agent, is she? What can you tell me you about probably your want to get someone on side, Kelsey not make Snyder yeah. a Poor girl. <laughs> she was so bright but when she we met. But she did start this then interview by just coming into this woman's her. house and insulting everything. First she lost everything. her scholarship, then her work study, then Possible she got she refused for a loan, then she dropped out. We lost touch after she moved out. Is she alright? Did you find her? Not yet. What was she like? She was nice. But she had a hard time deciding what to study. Very unfocused. She even tried to get a club DJ to teach her how to spin once. And the last time you talked? What did she say then? It wasn't good. Her aura was an angry mess. Angry about what? Oh, a lot of things. Is this person going to become your best friend? Because What she do you know about her financial problems? <laughs> Kelsey couldn't afford to pay tuition after no. she lost the scholarship and Despite got fired from her work study. Of her own, no loans, Erica no just favors, completely and her family couldn't this. help either. She was really mad at everyone. I was given her spot in the chamber choir and she was so mad. Was that the last time you talked to her? One of the last. The very last was when she moved out and couldn't pay her half of the rent that month. That must have been a strain for you. Yeah. Oh, no! I forgot her boyfriend paid it off for her a few weeks later. What was her work study job, and why was she fired? Mm, she worked at the dean's office. She said it was unfair that she was fired, but I, I don't know why it happened. The dean of students? Daniel Chapman's office? <laughs> no, some other dean. She didn't say she worked there. <laughs> she did. All Just of sophomore year, maybe longer. <laughs> when was she fired? A month into junior year, I think. So much for not knowing her. So that guy's immediately suspicious. Who is Kelsey's boyfriend? Yeah. We're already suspicious Joey. of him, though. Joey. Yeah. Last name? But why would you um, lie about something that is so easily going to come you out? You know, I don't know. But he worked at the oh, post wait, office I down the street. Everyone's an it was idiot. just there yesterday, yeah, actually. Pretty much. <laughs> Joey. What does he look like? Oh, brown hair, blue eyes. He had a very nervous aura. Was his name Joey Sounds Joe like the clerk I met. Shamaloo? Weird. What else do you know about him? <laughs> Not a lot. Uh, he didn't talk to me. I love much. the fact that they're just he was so keen on, on reusing Kelsey. characters he that loved her random so post much. office guy I is there don't coming back think as she an was quite as character. into him though. Do you know if they were still together when she went missing? I don't know. Have you had any contact from Kelsey at all since she disappeared? Like from beyond? Beyond what? Beyond, you know, spirits. Of course. Yes, I think Kelsey might have tried to contact me. Through the spirits? <laughs> no. There was a package outside my door this morning. It had a charm in it, just like this bracelet she used to wear. A silver charm? Where is it now? It's, um, fudge. I know I put it somewhere around here, but I forget where. I'll have to focus and seek guidance from the spirits. But it works better when I'm alone. <laughs> you do that. You said she was trying to learn how to DJ? Who was teaching her? DJ Ab Horrence. I've heard that name before. Yeah, yeah. and you said it a minute ago. <laughs> was his real name Nick Stewart? DJ Ab Horrence isn't. Was he close with Kelsey? She knew him better than I did. Well, I feel but sympathy. The lessons for didn't last I don't that feel that long. much sympathy because this is her job. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Melissa. Namaste, Miss Reed. I using it on her crotch. <laughs> I think it's actually meant to be her hair. I need to get closer. <laughs> need to get closer. Ah, closer than, yeah, standing right next to her. I need to get closer. What? Sit back down again or something? Yeah. It is a very unintuitive puzzle, that one. Yeah. But now we're going to the post office. Awesome. That sounds like it'll be fun. This is like a massive That's what Joey was yesterday. Everywhere is massive in this game. Yeah. 
Can I talk to you? That's what they pay me for. <laughs> How can I help you? I think it's just the glasses, but that guy looks a lot like Johnny Gat. I'm looking for a man who works here named Joey. <laughs> Joey yeah, I can see Gathals. I think so. You and me both, lady. He ditched a shift today. Didn't even call in. I get called in instead. Have you called him? Has anyone been by his house? <laughs> they called, sure. No answer, or he'd be here. And I doubt anyone went to his house. <laughs> Why? I need his address. Uh, I can't just give you that. Did you know Joey's girlfriend, Kelsey? <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, I, I don't know him that well. We just work together. And you don't like him very much. That's all for now. Okay. Bye. <sighs> Why do you have to do it this way? Why I'm not an just FBI go agent, and I need to speak with Joey about a case. <laughs> give me his address or get your boss. Also, I love how she's just suddenly uh, yeah. angry. Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay. it. Okay, um, uh, 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 oh, here. you're an FBI. Okay, well, I still have to put you through my boss. No, I just need to ask him some questions. <laughs> like, now she's just not angry anymore. Yeah. It's just, everything's fine. I love the way Erica climbs stairs. This looks more like some old boarded up warehouse than a home. What a weird place to live. I don't know, it looks like an alleyway. Yeah, you really can't tell what the building's like inside. <laughs> Be sure to keep your back exactly vertical. It looks like a Look, fuse box. I'm a human being. I've never seen one on the outside <laughs> of a building before. What? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, it does seem a bit dumb. The front is in all boarded like up this, windows but... I can't reach. At least there's a door here. I mean, with it's no locked, handle. so. Great. What's going to happen to it? <laughs> oh, it's Some locked. idiot with a gun. If there's some idiot with a gun shooting at things in your building, I don't think the location of the no fuse box is your biggest problem. I mean, they could be shooting at the fuse box. <laughs> Mr. Gothals, this is Erica Reed, FBI. We met yesterday at the post office. I'd like to ask you some questions. I can't even hear when someone knocks mm, on my door, so no shouting answer. at the door is not going to help. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like he's home. I've got no reason to pick the lock on this fuse box. Except to get inside. There's a convenient ladder there. Yeah, I I thought the ladder might be useful, but no, you cannot interact with it. It's just decoration. Does this ultimately become a, like the Flash game hunt for the hotspot? <laughs> no, it's just got dumb puzzles, so you have to do things in the right order, and you can't just do what you... Th Seems like you should be able to. Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. I love how they're just so friendly. Yeah. Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. Also, the double introductions are good. Oh yeah, that's always nice. He's already denied knowing her well. But if she worked here, it would probably be in his files. It's something, but it's not enough on its own to go make a test. Then why are you getting given these They'll options? probably continue yeah. to say she never worked here. And I don't know how you're supposed to know what you're meant to do here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Is there <laughs> something you need from my files, <laughs> Agent? Yes. I'd like to see your personnel files on past work-study students, specifically Kelsey Gardner. What? Forget to mention something earlier, Dean Chapman? Like the fact that Kelsey was working in your office as one of your personal assistants for over a year? Yeah. Care to explain yourself? Uh, you, you, can't, you can't go through there without a warrant. 
<laughs> Lying to a federal agent is not something we take That drawer lightly. is really jammed. You better explain yourself now, Dean Chapman, or I'm going to a judge for a warrant for your arrest. Well, I, I didn't want to look like I was connected to her. What happened with you and Kelsey, Dean Chapman? Maybe you were having an affair. Should I ask your wife about her? No, God. I love how she sounds yeah, angry, look, but she's she smiling. Was mad when she lost her scholarship. She blamed me for losing it, and I pointed out that her grades, of course, did not support her keeping it. I, I even referred her to a lending institution to apply for a loan. And you never said this because. When she disappeared, I didn't want anyone to think I was involved. I wasn't. I haven't seen Kelsey since she dropped out. And that's the truth. But why wouldn't you just say that from the beginning? <laughs> I don't need anything else from those files. Doesn't make any sense. That was also dramatic, and now it's just really dumb. Thanks for your time, Dean. Of course, Agent, any time. <laughs> Friendly again. He's a herring. It is red. All the herring. Looks like Rose put out a stack of Ouija boards. <laughs> While I can now admit there are some supernatural things in the world, I still refuse to believe that Parker Brothers has harnessed the spirits of the dead and packaged them in a game board for mass production. How much for one of these Ouija boards, Rose? <laughs> is this something to help save your young man? Hopefully. Then it's on the house, my dear. Besides, I have another pile in the back. Because, of course, you do. I love how they just appear exactly when you need them. They weren't there before. <laughs> yeah. And how she just entirely rips on them. And then goes, can I have one, by the way? <laughs> Hello? Miss Carubia? Who is it? Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Yes, of course. Namaste, Miss Reed. Please, have a seat. It's... Never mind. What? Last time she corrected her and said it's Agent Reed, not Ms. Reed. Ah, okay. And yeah, the thing you have to do to make the Would psychic this thing help work. You <laughs> Perfect. No. This way we can confer directly with the spirits. Because this way their hands will be touching Spirit on the thing. of the Ouija board, please help me remember what I was doing before the package arrived, so I can remember where I put it. This morning I was... What was I doing? I know she's supposed to be annoying, but they really overdid that. <laughs> yeah. Now, this works differently to either of the other times we've seen this puzzle before. You just have to look at the four animations at play and see the clock in them to see which order they happened in. Oh, I see. Convenient clock is convenient. And. Yeah, this this puzzle type is just so inconsistent. It is never the same type of puzzle. Yeah. Oh, and it doesn't tell you how you're supposed to solve it. So at this point, I'm just looking at these animations going, "Okay, what am I meant to do with this? Yeah, a situation where they've got something in plain sight that's meant to be really obvious. Only this one doesn't have a clock at all. Oh, so you meant... oh. Okay. <laughs> If I help her remember what order she did things in, now you get maybe the she'll remember where she put that charm. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. I don't think that was worth That's encouraging right. them. That's right. 
I got Cyprus the mail and out. then I put it in the red jewelry box. You put the charm in the jewelry Where's box. That? On the dresser. <sighs> I put things I find or that I'm borrowing here. <sighs> How silly that I couldn't remember. Yeah, considering it is such an in-depth process that you go, oh, that's what I do. In the red jewelry box. On the dresser. Also, I love the fact that the clock flashing 12 has no significance at all. Yeah. And there's a key. Take the key. KG. Did this key belong to Kelsey? Oh, I forgot all about that. What a surprise. Yes, she gave that to me the last time I saw her. She said it was in case she ever lost hers. Did she tell you what box it was for? They don't seem to be the that number good is scratched out. She did. It's yeah. um Drat, I don't remember. Oh, but we could ask the Ouija board. I'll see if I can find out on my own. Use psychic memory on it and <laughs> No, why use your convenient psychic powers when you can did just the package bumble around where like this an was idiot? Mailed from? No. I think it was hand delivered. No stamps or anything. Do you have the envelope? Sorry. I already recycled it. Why? Melissa, you're in danger. Charms like this have been found at a number of murder scenes, and Kelsey is the prime suspect. Kelsey? I don't think you meant to go around telling no. people who the prime suspect oh, is. Oh, she would never. There were a lot also, of people it seems a bit late she was very mad at, this. and you might be one of them. If there's somewhere else you can stay for a while, you should. Yeah, go stay yes, Kelsey's place. Um, <laughs> I, uh, we're not gonna like. I have some friends I can stay with. Get some police Good. to if come and watch Kelsey her. Or feel you're in immediate danger, call nine one one. No one cares. I will. Thank you, <laughs> Agent Reed. I hope you find her, and that none of this is her doing. I just, I can't imagine she would kill anyone. <laughs>